Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Jack 2, and we're about to go talk to Onan. Expecting that little boy to save us is folly. At his age, he's no match for the Metalhead leader. Oh, Jack, we were just talking about Samos' plan. Onan says your voice sounds very familiar. I'll bet you two golden oldies go way, way back, huh? Onan needs you to prove yourself, Jack. You've shown your brass and your brawn. Now you must show your brains as well. Frankly, I think she's pushing it. But I'm not the boss. Beat this test and the third piece to the seal will be revealed. Ready? Go! And we've got a little button mini game. So you just press the buttons that are shown on the screen. And you get points. If you get the same button multiple times in a row, you can get a combo bonus. Which will be important, like, now where there's multiple symbols that are the same. So you've kind of got to strategize if you want to maximize your score. You are doing very well! But if you press the wrong button, that's a miss. And if, uh, if you take too long to... If you take too long to press a button, that's also a miss. It's kind of hard to commentate over this, honestly. I have to focus a bit. But it's not that hard when I can just focus on what I'm doing. The thing is, this minigame is kind of unique from the other ones we've seen so far for a reason I'll explain once we're done. Keep going. But, you can do it. but for now, our goal is just to get to 400. Amazing! You actually won! I am without words! And that is rare. Behold, the seal of Mar is now complete. Onan says the three artifacts you retrieved from the mountain temple are relics from an ancient light tower. Old songs tell how this light tower once shined down on the actual site of Mars' tomb. I sing one of these songs for you. From the mists of time, Mars' light would shine. Oh, there, Iron Lungs. Just tell us what we need to do. Cretans with no taste, huh? Pugh. You must take the three artifacts to Mars' gate. Only then will the light tower rise and reveal the tomb. Moving to report. And yeah, so we can go back in and play the Onan game whenever we want. However, the reason why I said that's interesting, you may have noticed that the game automatically stopped when we reached our goal. And we couldn't go- why am I going here? And we couldn't go for bronze, silver, or gold. And the reason for that is because this minigame works differently. Um, basically, uh, it doesn't show what we need to get the, um, the precursor orbs, but I'm pretty sure that we want to get, like, a thousand points or something like that in order to get three precursor orbs. And there's no other goals. There's no bronze, silver, and gold for some reason. I don't know why they decided to do it that way. They easily could have had the three different ranks and then, you know, not stopped you partway through the first time you do it, you know, but... I mean, this is just how they did it for some reason. Anyways, I'm gonna slip by you without using my jet board, because... You, I know the hitboxes here are massive. Yeah, right. Check it out. And now we can get on up and get a vehicle. So yeah, we want to bring the Seal of Mar, now that we've got all three pieces, back over to the Mountain Temple where we found right. those three so artifacts. The lens, the gear, and the shard, which I, call, I mistakenly called the crystal before. 
And all of these are gonna combine together to help us find this tomb. So let's just get on over there. I wonder if... I mean, I'll, I'll check for side missions. Oh, for whatever, I'll check it now. We technically just finished a mission. So that leaves potential for side missions to appear, but they haven't. So yeah, let's go over to the Mountain Temple to do the fourth mission in the Mountain Temple. I said that most places have three missions. And the Mountain Temple technically has four missions, but I said that there's only three that, you know, take effort to get through. So this mission, we're basically just coming here for a cutscene. But that's fine. So let's just head on up with our nice little teleport. And we've got to go through that door that we couldn't open before where this big old beacon is. Now before I go through that door, there's something I want to show you. Because last time we were here, we got a lot of precursor orbs in a cheesy way. But now, now that we have our jet board... Oh my gosh, get out of here. Now that we have our jet board, we can get them, oh my gosh, the normal way. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to grind on that, but it's not working for some reason. Oh my gosh, get out of here. I'm trying to do jet board things that aren't working for some reason. Well, whatever. You're supposed to be able to grind on those. I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble. But in addition to that... You know, I'm just trying to get through to show the legitimate way to do things. I'm not even actually trying to achieve anything. Why you gotta do this to me, game? I'm gonna get rid of all you guys by doing the spin shoot technique. Okay, maybe not all you guys, but I just want to get to the little end section of this path here so I can show you that, yeah, we can just ride across the Dark Eco now, and that's how you're supposed to be able to get over to this area, as well as, you know how you're supposed to be able to get the precursor orb that was back here without dying. It probably checkpointed me over here now, didn't it? Whatever, I can just get back this way. And we can head through that door. Yeah, forget those pipes. I'm, I'm done trying to grind up them. Anyways, into the door that we got through with Mars Seal. What is back in this hidden area? If we check our map, you'll notice that 
the there's a section of this map that goes off the map up in the northeast corner. So that's interesting. Also, now it's time to actually grind on these pipes. Yeah, see, now it wants to work. It just didn't want to work on the other ones for some reason. Hey, it's another door just like the one that we needed Mars Seal for, but this one is open for some reason. I guess they just didn't want to play the cutscene again, but that does make this place feel a little less secure. Whatever, though. Got a statue over here. And this is a neat little area with a neat little cutscene. Well, hope that guy's okay. Oh, well, I'll be a monk house, uncle. The light tower actually does exist. The beam of light is shining somewhere in the city. The tomb of Mar was right under our noses all along. And thanks to me, you found it. So yeah, this is a neat little area, and I'm glad we got to see that cutscene at night. I feel like it's cooler to do things with beams of light when it's dark out. Unfortunately, there's no, like, precursor orbs or anything to find out here. But yeah, this is the part that was off the map. So we seem to have destroyed a statue of, I'm assuming, the Baron. We were just barely on the map there, but if we go over here, we'd be off the map. But yeah, destroying the statue opened up the, pa the doorway to Mars' tomb. So we're going to want to go check that out right away before, you know, everyone at the palace goes to check it out, which presumably shouldn't take too long because one, there's crimson guards everywhere, and two, that place is literally right in front of the palace. Like, it is directly in front of the palace doors. So we'd better get over there quick, I guess. Man, it's dark in here. But if we come out here... We can get right back to the start without even needing to use this warp gate. Which, again, makes it feel like that one door should have been sealed. Maybe, canonically, it was sealed until we use the... Um, the... You know, Mars seal on the other door. And then they and then they just both unlocked at once. I don't know. There was a vehicle here when we came in. Why do all the vehicles disappear when I need them in this area? Alright, so it doesn't look like there's any side missions, which is good, because we want to get to that tomb as fast as possible. So let's follow the skull. But yeah, when that statue fell, some guy got blasted towards the camera. So he might be dead. There's that green sun. 
But yeah, the palace is right here. And the tomb is right here. Leaving city safe zone. You did it, Jack. You actually found Mars tomb. Great. Now what? We send this poor kid into a meat grinder? This is the day I've long awaited to finally hold the fabled precursor stone in my hands. You must be cautious, child. The tests of manhood are sure to be fraught with peril, and Mars Air must face them alone. It's okay, kid. You can do it. It's just a deep pitch black sure to be filled to the brim with painful death. Old tomb. I wouldn't go in there. Welcome, heir of Mar. Finally, the Chosen One stands before you. Enter and prove yourself worthy to claim an ancient birthright. No. This child is too young to face the tests. What? No! Do something, Jack! Jack, remember the sure to be filled to the brim with painful death part? Tree limbs. He's gone to face the tests. No, he's gone to his death. Freeze! And there's the guards. Of course, we had to have an Indiana Jones moment because Daxter is apparently Jack's hat, which is kind of true. Anyways, there's two precursor orbs right here. There's five total in the tomb. So yeah, let's go face the tests of manhood that that kid that is not a man yet was supposed to face. So getting through this water is going to be a lot easier on our jet board, otherwise we just kind of, yeah, we move a lot slower, which is not good when there's creatures after us. And we've got a couple more precursor orbs here. There's only one left. So if we take a look at our map here. Yeah, we've got some trials to do. And we're gonna start with this one. Taking on the first test of manhood, which... Those are some pretty big and nasty spiders. That They move faster, like they attack faster than I thought they would. I was ready to melee them, but they got me first. So we've got some spike, track, uh, spike traps above Dark Eco got some platforming to do, which is nice. It's always nice when the series has platforming. I mean, that's what it was originally all about. This is a little elevator, and this is a button. And the button raises those platforms that had the spikes coming out before. Now the spikes no longer come out, but they're moving platforms instead that I failed to jump on. I didn't expect to fail at this part. But whatever. I just didn't realize the platform was going to move that far away. So let's not make any more dumb mistakes like that. No, spiders must die. Ah, 
And now we're basically back to where we were. So if you see in that cutscene... There's a little alcove back here, and that's where our last precursor orb is. So now we don't have to worry about getting any more of them in the tomb. But that precursor orb is interesting because there's actually two intended ways to get to it. So I'll show you the other way in a second. So once you hit that button... room kind of rearranges itself again. We've got another elevator down. And the way forward would be to go down into those tunnels. However, if you missed that precursor orb before, you can still get to it by coming up these steps with, you know, the spikes coming out of them. Because they had to make sure that there was some way to get back up to this after the room rearranged itself. Anyways, let's head on down. Got some more big spiders. We're just gonna shoot them, honestly. And now there seems to be a big ball in the way. And now, this whole sequence as we play as an orange marsupial running away from a boulder, running towards the screen, is an obvious reference to the game series that Naughty Dog made before Jack and Daxter being Crash Bandicoot. Apparently there was a giant spider in that thing, so that's awful. But yeah, this is the first time in the Jack and Daxter series where you get to play as Daxter. So that's pretty cool. Just want to keep going as fast as you can. Which I think I'm not really doing too bad at. Since you're suddenly being since you're suddenly controlling a new character in a stressful timed situation it could be kind of difficult but I did really well actually now interestingly enough if we look on our map that pathway that Daxter just went through led him behind the door that we're trying to get behind so he basically just passed the two tests of manhood without actually having to do them. But now we're without Daxter for a while, which is really weird. How can you have Jack without Daxter? You know, aside from the fact that they took Daxter's name out of the title of the series starting with this game. Ah yeah, some good old fun platforming. 
gotta love it. They really go heavy on the poles, like the swinging around on these poles here. It is really reminiscent of Crash Bandicoot with like all these moving platforms coming in and out of the walls and these ruins just jumping around. Anyways, we have completed the first test of manhood now. Just gonna quick, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, but I'm just gonna quick confirm that that was number one and that, yeah, we're not doing them out of order. So yeah, I was right about that, thankfully. Daxter's not even gonna get to see the second test of manhood. I mean, he could have seen it if we would have done the second one first, or if we, you know, revisit these tests later for some reason. But neither of those things are happening in this playthrough. Anyways, that first test was like a platforming test. This test is more of a mental test. You must not use weapons in this challenge. So we want to hit the bugs here that had the marks on them. There's three of them. So it's kind of like the whole, yeah, if you hit the wrong one, you get hurt. And that opens the doorway forward. So it's kind of like the whole Super Kuko minigame in Ocarina of Time. Tutorial message, because we've never actually had to swim underwater before. And if you stay underwater, you can stay under that electricity. But you can only stay under for so long, of course. I, I thought it would go away faster. Thankfully, I was fine until I wasn't. Now this little puzzle here is a direct reference to Gaul and Maya's Citadel in the original Jack and Daxter. Yeah, it works a bit differently from that, but it's very similar. just want to jump on whatever tile flashes and if you jump on the wrong tile you get Indiana Jones where it's like oh no God's name is spelled differently in in that language or whatever in the third Indiana Jones movie All right, I timed that pretty well. But now we're back in this room. So we have to do this again. And now I'm not sure which one over here was it. Not that one. It was that one. Alright, I think I'm doing pretty good with that. I also think you are you might be safe from the electricity in the water if you're on the very edge where you're trying to get out of, but I'm not completely sure about that. Anyway, so this is a three-part now. Ha <laughs> 
when you jump on those tiles, it kind of feels like you're pressing a button, but you don't actually have to press them down like that. And I'm explaining that because of what's going to happen here. Yeah, we can just walk over to the other one. You don't have to jump on it. This should be the last thing of electric water. Okay, that is not safe. I was wrong. I don't want to have to start this whole entire test of manhood over. So let's be a little careful. So now, I don't think we can die in the rest of this test. This is just like the little match game here. Gotta match the sounds. We've heard that one, haven't we? There we go, that's the one. Got lucky on that one. Have we not heard that one? Maybe not. Surely we've heard that one. Yeah, here we go. That one is this one. Now, gee, I, it's, the puzzle's too hard at this point. Which two could possibly match? And we have completed both tests. Door is open, let's go reunite with Daxter. And get our reward. Daxter, there you are. What happened to you? I had a hairy experience. No thanks to you. Welcome, young warrior. Many eons have passed since our hope burned so brightly. Today, you have proven yourself worthy to receive Ma's legacy. He's talking about me! Thanks, you holy statuness. This tomb wasn't so tough. What you are about to receive contains grave power, and with it comes grave responsibility. Eons ago, the Precursors waged a terrible war with the Horaquan, those dark creatures you refer to as Metalhead. Driven by their dark leader, the Metalhead Legions destroyed our great civilization. And now they swarm the universe unopposed, looking for the last relics of our power. Ma tried to hide the Precursor Stone in this tomb to protect it from them. It is our last hope, and you were chosen to keep that hope alive. I think you got me confused with someone else. I just want the stone. It is time to fulfill your destiny. Behold. Let's get the goods. Fools! You brought me right to the stone. Your pitiful underground friends were no match for my guards above. 
Now I will gain the power I need to crush my enemies! And after claiming the stone, I'll begin with you. Abomination. The Precursor Stone was not meant for you. Here's a little present. And we've got ourselves a boss fight. Which we have immediately died on, but that's fine, because I can start at full health now. But yeah, we're gonna want to use our scatter gun for these guys. I think they're kind of difficult to shoot with our other weapons. So now we can hit these bat these bombs he shot out back at him. If you're good enough, you can take care of one of his phases in a single cycle, but that's really hard. So we've just got to defeat more of these guys before before he'll shoot out more of those bombs. He's really drilling, trying to get... Ow! Trying to get that precursor stone. And we're on to the next phase. Which ended up hurting me, because it blew up the stuff early. Yeah, the phase change blew up the bombs early. So when he shoots those pillars, they get damaged and they can be completely destroyed. Yeah, I couldn't quite one-cycle him on any of his phases. Because you can't one cycle him on the third phase. So, yeah, see, that pillar just got completely destroyed, so we can't use that to protect ourselves anymore. So, this should do it. We finish this now. And yep, he actually successfully nabbed the stone here. And he's using it to destroy the ground. Suddenly this has turned into an engine fight. Where are you? Oh, I missed. Man, I am not doing good with this last phase. Oh, that one blew up because the pillar was in the way. Ow! I'm actually gonna lose here, aren't I? Alright, well I finally hit him. Did I actually hit him there? That's crazy. All right, get over here, Baron. I think he'll just take one more hit, I hope. There 
There we go. Did it. Nice try, but the stone is still mine. Don't worry, I will use the stone to its full potential. Soon all who oppose me will be destroyed by its power. <laughs> And Eggman got away again. This place is kind of falling apart. We should probably get out of here. So that was Mars Tomb. We finally found it. We found what we were looking for and it got stolen from us. Not good. And what about our friends out here? That the guards seem to have found. Seems like there's trouble. Which means it's a... Perfect time for side missions. I hope there's not any side missions. Yeah, I didn't think they would add some now. Seal off the area. You, I need your zoomer. All right, let's head over to Torn and see what's going on. I saw there was a yellow Crimson Guard, which makes no sense because Crimson is red. So yeah, that's a stronger guard, which means that those yellow Hellcat carriers should be flying around now too. I don't want these guys bugging me when I'm standing outside of the underground hideout trying to end the video. There we go, we've made our escape. I'm not running into that vehicle there. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You know what? You guys can just kill me. I'm basically dead anyways, and I want some health before I start the next mission. Okay. Anyways... That is gonna be it for this video. We will talk to Torn in the next one. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.